Okay. Let's take a little self-inventory. <laughs> and let's think about what that reading did to us. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. I Have see some fucking... Oh, by the way, I see some beautiful fucking biceps around this place. <laughs> it's very, very good to look at. Uh, also, I, I know that some of you have been uh, uh, maybe engaging me in conversation. Maybe I've been short. It's only because I'm genuinely like trying to make sure that this whole Satan thing happens. We do have an after party tomorrow. I will be more than happy to talk to you a little bit more for, for, for there. It's going to be fucking fun. Are we going to blow up the moon at the after party? Fuck that fun! Nice. Fuck that fun! I Fuck I that fun! I assume somebody already did at that point. I oh, mean, good really, point, if, good if, point, good point. Like, if I've, if I've learned something, it's that one maniac screaming about things usually makes things happen. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to change the energy just a bit. And I'm going to bring on the velvety smooth voice of a one Mr. Jimmy Franks. Hello, friends. Jimmy Franks? Yeah. What sort of document or spell... Do you have to fill this entire room with magics? Oh man, I don't know. That was a tough act to follow. That last thing, man, I was like, whatever, whatever it was that came after the Beatles on the <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. This is uh, this is actually perfect because this is something that's near and dear to my heart. What you got there? Uh, I have a document on human furniture. Yeah. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a geek spell of evil provided by Kanye Sutra. Oh, boy. So, if you're, uh, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, maybe you're flipping a house, listen up, because we got some uh, tips on human furniture from Pixie's Place. So, uh, my friend and I answered an ad for fornophilia subjects and replied for a 10-week study assignment at $500 a week, tax-free. Yeah, uh, Dave was only 23, I'm 22, and unemployed, so we figured this live-in assignment would be perfect for us. Uh, we were actually interviewed the same day we applied. The tall, sexy Lisa was very impressed with our enthusiasm and asked us to strip to our underwear for some simple body type shots. Little did we know that we were being watched by two other sexy ladies as we stripped and prepared to be photographed. This is real. <laughs> the tall one, the blonde, I have a table design just made for him, Lisa's assistant, Tani said. And the short one, look at the bulge in his shorts. He's a perfect tabletop for that ladies' club downtown. I mean, who can take your eyes off that bulge? Mm-hmm. All three ladies quickly reviewed our profiles. Young, stupid, no jobs, and Dave was an orphan. <laughs> My parents thought I was in New York somewhere. I have the designs ready. Let's start tonight, a third lady, Sue, said. Surprise uh, appearance by uh, another character. After the preliminary picks were taken, we were both given a strong drink, and we were out cold in minutes. Yeah! Woo! Oh, wait, Just, no, that's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bad oh, Fuck. Fuck you, Lemon. Fuck you, Kanye Sutra. <laughs> Just like, like, like zero le to le unconscious. Lemon, he you to get laid. Hey, you don't know where this story's going. That's true, that's true. I'm, I'm sure it has a happy ending. I'm yeah. sure everything's going to be okay. Uh, I awoke strapped down to a doctor's table. Okay, we know where the story's going. Never mind. Dave was nowhere around. The interviewer, Lisa, was standing over me smiling. I was naked, and as soon as Lisa laid a hand on my cock, it was hard. <laughs> yeah. How 
would you like sexy young girls swarming all over you every night? And they won't be able to keep their hands off this? She gave my cock a squeeze and I was all smiles. We want to cast you for a tabletop in a nightclub. But you have to lie real still so we can mold your body. I agreed and with a big grin... And moments later, was transferred to a big aluminum cooking sheet-looking tray, about 10 inches deep. There were hoses all over the bottom of the tray, and Lisa explained that those would be cooling lines for the plaster-like substance to be added to the tray. So this is the DIY portion. I hope you guys are taking notes. (laughs) I laid there totally naked and unmoving while the bottom half of the table was set. I didn't like the hose inserted into my ass. (laughs) Well, then maybe this yeah, is the you, wrong job for yeah, you. Yeah, you wouldn't. That's but, the best part. But, but Lisa explained that this was in case I needed to go. <laughs> to go where? Uh, yeah. Uh, where, anyway. where are you going? N- now, now we have to keep this up and out of the way, she explained. So she tied a string around my cock and balls and put them upwards towards the ceiling. Uh, he was, said he was said he was hard earlier. I don't know. All right. I was greased up with a Vaseline type goo to keep the acrylic from sticking to me. Then the clear liquid plastic was poured over me, filling the tray and completely covering my body. <laughs> when Lisa returned again, I was beginning to get worried. I couldn't move a muscle, and only my face, my cock, and my balls and my toes were exposed above the now crystal clear and rock solid acrylic tabletop. Oh, they're doing a Han Solo and Carbonite thing. That's very yeah. cool. This is the extended cut. I always hate what Lucas did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lucas, you and your special editions. Why would you want to move, Lisa asked. You're beautiful. Lisa released my cock then and again easily aroused me to a full erection. Yay! Yay! I heard running water and felt the table's base begin to cool me. Then, below me, someone attached the hose from my ass to a built-in holding tank. I can't get up, I protested. You don't have to, Lisa explained. (laughs) There's a drain hose in your ass. You can still pee. You can still see. You can hear and you'll be fed generously. (laughs) But I'm a fucking table, I complained. (laughs) Yes, you are, Lisa (laughs) laughed. (laughs) And you're going into service tonight. Lisa slid the plug gag into my mouth and screwed a plastic funnel into it. Small straps as snaps secured the funnel to the tabletop. Next, she stripped off her panties and gently stuffed them into the funnel. And <laughs> okay. Uh, I, get, I get the feeling it's not going to be the weirdest thing we talk about tonight. Yeah. And, <laughs> and poured a small glass of water onto them to saturate them. Seconds later, her pussy-flavored water trickled into my mouth. Yep. I don't, I, don't th- I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I was covered, taped up, and loaded onto a truck. An hour later, I was carried into a downtown nightclub. When the female owner saw me, she was thrilled. Her hand went right to my crotch, and I was bo- brought to a huge erection, hard. I was almost nine inches. The drivers were paid, and I was left there. We'll talk later, Lisa laughed. But here's the basics. This place is loaded with horny women. And this, she said, squeezing my cock, is what they come here for. (laughs) You're going to be swamped by sexy women tonight. Drink whatever they pour down your throat. Come all you want, but they won't let up if you do just makes them rowdier and show them a good time. Two hours later, the place was packed (laughs) and not a man in the house. It was true. 
I was surrounded by gorgeous women, being manhandled and fisted viciously. And they couldn't keep their hands off my cock. I was given a Viagra and whiskey cocktail, and I'd already come twice and was still hard. There were empty shot glasses lined up trying to get cum out of me. My cock was... Shot, shot, shot. And, and be sure to tip your bartender. Uh, my cock was already sore and was still being jerked off. Yay. Later, I saw Dave off to my right. He was also in a table. But he was on his back with his legs pulled up to his chest, his calves pointed up, and his feet high in the air. Dave was in the center of the room with access to both ends of his table. At one end, his naked, bent, double ass and cock and balls were exposed. (laughs) Good old four-ass Dave. Old double-ass Dave. A woman was sitting on his upturned butt, fucking herself on his cock. (laughs) His head was far below the tabletop, below crotch height, and a big black dildo was strapped over his mouth. Another woman was fucking herself on this, and what I couldn't see was that the dildo had a hollow core. I As, like where this is going. You know those hollow core dildos. Oh you, wait, no, I don't. You really want the solid core ones. They're going to last a lot longer. As the woman fucked herself to the whoops and hollers of her friends waiting their turn, Dave's mouth was flooding with her juices. All I could see was him gulping to keep from drowning. As soon as one woman climbed off his cock or he dildo on his face, Another one mounted him. When I'd had so much to drink, everything from shots spit into my funnel to drunk women spitting into it to dribbles of piss and my own cum. And I I had to pee. It was collected in a pitcher and passed around like fine wine. (laughs) (laughs) Needless to say, when anyone else had to pee, that pitcher was emptied down my throat. Lisa was right. This was more wild women, sexual attention, and sex than I'd ever had before. I was nearly dead by 2 a.m., and everyone cleared... You were literally dead. Please note, this author has never had sex before. And everyone cleared out. The owner finally came over and told me I had $400 in my tip can. (laughs) <laughs> I just I just stared at her blankly I need to rest I moaned is my cock still there she laughed and assured me that it was then I asked her about tomorrow lunch crowd comes in at noon till 3 night crowd comes in 6 till 2 a.m. I just grinned and closed my eyes. I'll be ready by then. <laughs> yeah. 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 A Jimmy Most Franks. Yes. Yes. You paid to listen to that. That's the fucked up thing. You paid to listen to that. (laughs) 